Hello and welcome to this video on the Python programming language. So in this video I'll show you how to build a basic language model to predict the next word much similar to what Google search does when you start typing in the search bar. Now I'm currently on Google's website called colab.research.google.com and I'm on it because it makes it really easy to start programming in Python. So if you're going to program along with me go ahead and click on file then click on new notebook where a new tab will open up for you and then eventually a new cell will open up for you. Now in the cell I'm going to type in some comments. So I'm going to type import the libraries and here I'm going to import the libraries that I need to run this program. So I'm going to import NLTK and then from NLTK.corpus I'm going to import Reuters and then from NLTK I'm going to import trigrams and from collections I'm going to import default dictionary okay and also you can get the code from this video on my patreon which is patreon.com slash computer science I will leave a link below so that you can get to it now I'm going to go ahead and click on this button to the left and that will let me know if I made any mistakes with this program or at least with this block of code and it will also run this block of code for me alright so let's go ahead and click on that alright and now while it's running let's talk a little bit about language modeling so language modeling involves calculating the likelihood of word sequences It's a critical component in numerous applications including speech recognition and spam filtering essentially the development of cutting edge natural language processing models like ChatGPT are driven by the objectives of language modeling, which we're going to do a little bit of language modeling here today for this program. All right, so the idea here is that we we type in two words and then we get a prediction of what we think the next word may be, and that's going to be pretty much it for this program. All right, so let's go ahead and create a new cell by clicking that code button in the top left. And now in this cell, I'm going to download the Reuters corpus and the punct corpus. Okay, so I'm going to type nltk.download and let's download Reuters and then let's type nltk.download punct. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and run that cell. I'm going to create a new cell. And here I'm going to create a placeholder for the model. All right, so I'm going to create a variable called model. I'm going to set it equal to default dictionary. And then I'm going to input lambda. And then I'm going to input default dictionary and lambda zero okay and then I'm going to run this this cell or this block of code okay so what did I just do well this line initiates a model variable as a default dictionary if a key is not found in the dictionary it will return a default value which is another default dictionary that returns the value zero for any missing key so this two-level nested default dictionary structure will store the frequency of each of our trigrams. And a trigram is just a sequence of three words. So again, we want to take two words and then predict that third word. So that's why we're getting a trigram in this case. All right, so let's go ahead and create a new cell. And now in this cell, I want to count the frequency of the third word occurring after the first two words in the model. All right, so I'm going to just go ahead and write the code and then explain it afterwards. So for sentence in Reuters dot since, so we're going to loop through our Reuters corpus. We're going to loop through each sentence. We want to then loop through each word. So for word one, word two, and word three, 
right we want three words because we're, we're getting a trigram here and let me spell the model correctly up top there all right so for word one word two and word three in our our sentence our trigram sentence so I'm gonna put trigrams and then input sentence and I need to add a few more things here I'm gonna add two parameters pad underscore right and I'm gonna set it equal to true and I'm gonna add pad underscore left and set it equal to true as well all right so for word one word two word three in our sentence we're going to add the the tuple or tuple w1 and w2 so that's word one and word two and then we want to get the count of word three following word one and word two so I'm gonna put plus equals one here alright so let me explain exactly what was just created so here we iterate over sentences from the Reuters corpus and then for each sentence we generate trigrams and again a trigram is a sequence of three words and that Reuters corpus is just a bunch of text from Reuters and let me say that again the Reuters corpus is just a bunch of text from Reuters alright I got a little tongue tied there so the parameters the pad right and pad left parameters add padding to the sentence which is useful for language models as they allow the model to recognize the start and end of sentences and then for each trigram we increment the count of the third word which we call w3 occurring after the first two words w1 and w2 in the model okay all right so let's go ahead and run this and hopefully there are no issues and then I'm going to create a new cell while it's running and I probably should have ran it while I'm explained exactly what the code was but we're going to go ahead and continue now so I'm going to now transform those counts to probabilities so let's transform the counts or frequencies right to probabilities probabilities okay so for word one and word two in the model we're going to get the total count so I'm going to create a variable called total underscore count and I'm going to set it equal to the sum of model um, actually let me put here not w1 w2 we're going to do w1 underscore w2 so for w1 underscore w2 w2 in model we're going to get the total count of w1 underscore w2 okay and then dot values left parentheses right parentheses and let's cast this to be a float so I'm gonna put all this in our float function and that should give us the total count so this is the total count or sum of our w1 and w2 key pairs all right so next I'm going to create another for loop so for word 3 w3 in model w1 underscore w2 we are going to get the probability so we're going to do model w1 underscore w2 we are going to get that word 3 count right and we're going to divide it by the total so we're going to put divide equals total underscore count and this is the same thing as saying let me put this in comments I'm just going to highlight this copies control C and put a little comment over here it's the same thing as saying model that this model is equal to this model divided by the total underscore count All right okay so this should do it let's go ahead and run this cell and it looks like it's good and I'm going to explain exactly what we did here so we basically converted the frequency counts from our previous cell in the previous step to probabilities 
we calculated the total count or sum of each key pair which we call W1 and W2 in the model. Then we divided each count of W3 by the total count to get the probability of W3 following W1 and W2 right here. Okay. All right. So hopefully that makes sense. Again, we got uh, this total of how many W1s and W2s there were, and then how many third words were were following W1 and W2, and divide it by that total count. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new cell, and here we're going to print the third word and its probability. All right, so I'm going to type dictionary model and then let's put in some words from the corpus. So uh, we have today and then comma the and let's run this. Okay, so here we can see the third words that follow today in the or today in the. So today the public could be the third word, European could be the third word, the bank could be the third word, and here are the probabilities, right? So we can see here, this looks like this is the highest probability, right? So we can use these probabilities to order these third words. So we can say there's a 16.66% chance that the third word following today, the, it will be company. All right, and then there is about a 11.11% .11 chance that the next word will be price, so on and so forth. And this is very similar to what Google does when trying to predict your next word. Now, of course, this can be expanded, not just trigrams, but it can be in grams, right? Where you put any number in place for the number in or the letter in. All right, so hopefully this gave you a very quick, basic understanding of language modeling. I hope you all truly, truly enjoyed it. Thank you for watching this video and a special thanks to the Patreon supporters on patreon.com. Again, if you would like to become a supporter of this channel or just get the code, I will leave a link to the Patreon page, which is patreon.com slash computer science in the description below. If I didn't already mention it, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.